Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a guided message for cancers. Um, so please check out the description box below. There's my email for if you want a personal reading or you can follow me on Instagram. I have products um, for sale there. I post some free tarot readings and there's some funny memes. So yep, just have fun with it. So if you have cancer in your chart or if you're dealing with a cancer, this could be for you. Be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, let's go. I'm going to start with this um, future forecast deck. It's going to be like a time prediction. So if there's something that you're wondering about when it's going to happen, um, this will provide you clarity, okay? Okay. So we have a lot of different... Um, times coming out for you guys so there might be different projects that you are working on or these could be important dates for you um meeting someone new new job opportunities or um reconciling with a love interest so let's see or within this next coming year these are going to be some important dates so just keep these in mind so friday there might be something that you're trying to work on or manifest or Friday might be a lucky day for you. You might be meeting someone new. Okay, so let's see. We also have in the morning. The mornings might be a good, um, good for you within this next coming year. You might have the most energy, so you might want to get things done in the morning. Okay, so something is happening in the fall because we have August and November. You could be like planning a trip or... Um, Something could be happening this fall. So just keep that in mind. We have It's almost here. You guys have been doing really good at like manifesting something because it's almost here. You're getting close. So that's exciting. And also in a couple of months, we have this card. So something's going to happen in a couple of months. All right, let's see. This is for Cancer, please, Spirit Guides. What are the messages that they need here? This is for Cancer. So the first card we have is, what's the big deal? I'm a player and I want to continue to play the field. So somebody here doesn't even care. They have no shame in their game and they're just going to do what they want to do. Okay, maybe this someone, this person is just justifying it as, oh, they're just um, dating around. Either way. I get the feeling that you guys are not going to put up with it. You're not going to um, deal with this energy anyway. So then it says, it hits different when I think of you with somebody else. So they might end up going to regret this behavior because once they start to imagine you moving on or being with someone else, they start to get jealous and it drives them crazy and they can't handle it like they think. So they're not so tough like they think. This one says, I'm going to use manipulating tactics to get my way with you. I'm immature and goofy. Okay. So this definitely seems like somebody who's going to come in when they want to and try to say, oh, sorry, my grandma died. <laughs> and really like no one died. Oh, I was really busy and I just had a lot on my mind. I had a lot on my plate. And they're going to think that you can just, you're going to deal with it and you're going to put up with it and you're just going to be like, oh, and feel bad for them and this and that. Um, I feel like you guys are going to see right through this. You're not going to be fooled. And well, if you're watching this tarot reading, then, you know, you definitely shouldn't be fooled by now because I'm letting you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. What did I just say? That's so weird. Okay. I was already picking up on this energy, right? Like, the overall, it says, my life is really falling apart. That's what they're going to do. They're going to try to give you some stop, sob story. Like, oh, there's something happening wrong with me. Me, me, me. I mean, maybe this person really is going through it, but that's not your problem, and it doesn't give them an excuse um, to behave any kind of way or treat you less than you deserve, right? So let's see what other messages are for Cancer, please, Spirit Guides. What other messages are for Cancer? Okay, Reunion and Reconciliation. 
So this person definitely wants to get back with you. We already see that in the cards. Are you going to take them back? That's the real question. I mean, it's going to be different for each of you. Yeah, I feel like you guys, even though there seems like there's some drama here, you're not going to let it get to you because we have the peace and calm card. You're going to deal with them in a very calm manner, a very peaceful and respectful manner. Even with whatever they're going through, you're still going to um, set it straight, which is very cancer. You're not going to put up with it. You're not going to buy the BS, but you're also not going to be like disrespectful back to them. You're going to still treat them like in a respectful manner. We also have dishonesty. So they could be lying about something here, okay? There could be some resistance on their end, whether it's to face you or face themselves, essentially, right? In an honest manner, give themselves the respect that they deserve. Yeah, I feel like you treat this person with more respect than they treat themselves with. So ultimately, that's going to come in between the two of you and that's going to be a problem. They may even get jealous of how... That's weird. They get jealous of how you treat them <laughs> with more respect than they treat themselves. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. They should just be nice to themselves. What is their problem? Why are they being jealous? No, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So upright, this is a player, okay? We've already seen that in the cards. So th what this means is this person is just, you're not putting up with it. You're not accepting it. This also can mean that they're trying to say that they change and they're not going to do this anymore since it's in the reverse here. I don't know. I just see that there's BS because we have the dishonesty card, remember? Um, let's just see what else comes out. Yeah, the fool in reverse. You're like, I'm not going to be a fool. You're not going to make a fool out of me. Let's see what else comes out. I feel like you've given a lot to this person, and they haven't appreciated it. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I also feel like you worked really hard on yourself. And I feel like you guys have, throughout this connection, have given them chance after chance. And I maybe even said, like, look, I'll do whatever it takes on my end to give you a break or give you the benefit of the doubt. And still this person hasn't been able to pull their ends of the, pull their weight in this, right? So you're just saying, it's not about I'm being rude, I'm not cutting you off, I'm not um, trying to, like, play you back or do the same games that you are. But if you haven't, like, done what you've needed to do and I have then I'm not going to be like giving to this anymore I'm not able to and it's not even like it's a choice anymore option you're not even trying to do this to this person um, you're just moving forward in your life and that's what happens like you know they miss the boat kind of thing right so we have the empress in reverse so you're dropping this person because they didn't see your worth or your value with the Empress in the reverse. They missed their chance. They really didn't appreciate you for who you were or what you had to offer. And they're totally blindsided by this. They didn't think that this was going to happen. They probably thought that they could fool you or get away with this. But this person also might think that... They might think that, oh, they think that they're just being genuine, like genuinely themselves. This person buys their own BS. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, we could be done with the earth sign. We have king of pentacles here, so that would be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Then we have the strength in the reverse. So this is them not being able to temper their passions or their temptations. This person is might be tempted towards shallow things, shallow thrills, maybe excitements in their life. Uh, it could be ego with the money, with pentacles, you know. Could be trying to chase, like, flashy things, like money and, like, their ego and trying to buy, I don't know, weird. 
trying to think that this person is like um the best thing gift god's gift to man i don't know god's gift to, <laughs> to somebody and there could be juggling with other options they could be trying to they're trying to chase the bigger better deal is what i'm seeing here yeah they're just addicted to the chase and, and it's in the material world. It's very interesting. This person might not be, like, connected to their emotions. They may just be obsessed with um, material items. <sighs> yeah. But you're going to walk away with this from this, um, with the Eight of Cups. You're gonna see through the lies and the deception. And you're over the hurt and the betrayals with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You don't wanna repeat the same cycle or the same pattern. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I hope it resonates. Please let me know in the um, comments below. Please like the video, you can share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.